NXP has been developing infotainment solutions since the very first LCDs were placed inside of cars. Today we want to introduce you to a concept we call Super Cockpit to give you a taste for what the next generation vehicles that you'll be driving in the next few years are going to look like. Now your vehicle today probably has a digital cluster and an infotainment screen that allows you to play different media, uh, songs to be able to control your climate. One of the big things that we're looking at is the ability to have a third infotainment screen that is a stretch screen so that the passenger can see a lot more extra detail behind it, but there's so much more. With IMX8, we can derive four displays per processor. In our super cockpit setup, we actually have two IMX8s for a total of 11 displays that you're seeing inside. So the traditional cluster infotainment media entertainment has been augmented by rear view mirrors with integrated LCDs so you can see what your kids are doing in the back seat. Side view mirrors that actually are no longer on the sides. They're right below the cluster so you can see what's happening instead of looking left or right. Touchscreen interfaces that allow you to control the entire vehicle, either through gesture, voice, knob, or touchscreen, which you're mostly used to. The benefit of IMX8 is that because all of this is digital content, we can tie what is inside of a side view mirror where it's showing an indication that there's a hazard on the road next to you that's indicated in the cluster that's brought to you from the navigation screen. All of this integrated together. Now by having us show you what a super cockpit can do with two IMX8s, we're giving you a taste for what our next generation IMX can be able to do. We see a big move toward up to 10 to sometimes 15 screens inside of the car when you include the rear seat entertainment screens. Now that's not the only major trend. One of the other ways of designing your car instead of having individual displays is have a pillar to pillar display so everything is in front of you on one big screen. What we're showing you here is a single IMX8 that's running for the first time the Unity uh, game engine with a full infotainment system. So cluster, navigation, media control. But one of the benefits of having Unity run on IMX8 is it opens up the wealth of games. So if you have a self-driving car or even a level three or level four, what else is the passenger gonna do other than hang out? They're gonna play games. So using the performance and the power of IMX8, coupled with the Unity Engine allows us to be able to have much more entertainment options within the car.